All right. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow designers, and uh, welcome to the latest episode of uh, PXO release announcement. Uh, this release, this meeting is uh, oriented more for the designer side. So if you are more on the technical side, we have a session for that on Thursday. And uh, this episode of uh, release meeting is sponsored by you who formed the Eaton's awesome designer community and uh, by us, the PX Fluid team. So if you don't know us yet, uh, PX Fluid or Power Expert Blue is the design system for Eaton's application design. So once every quarterly we will do, we will release new uh, features for all designers and developers ac across Eaton. And uh, I'm your presenter. My name is uh, Hua Yun Huang, and I am the designer who maintains the design side of the PXLU. And today, along with me, is uh, seven awesome team members uh, Mariana, Joe, uh, Tom, Ekta, Jeff, Suraj, and Ivan. And uh, if you don't know yet, um, there are a little bit of a uh, um, um, headcount change on our side. Uh, we now have uh, uh, Joe has uh, just uh, ascended and uh, become our new manager of PXLU, and uh, we also increased our presence in Pune since uh, we last had this meeting. Uh, Ekta and Suraj is uh, our newly joined member uh, from Pune as a front event developer. So welcome to Eden and welcome everybody to this uh, release announcement. In today's agenda, uh, we'll have a quick recap for R20 for those of you who weren't, didn't see the email earlier. Uh, we will talk about uh, the new system components we made for Figma. We talk about it in the improvement, improved search experience in for icons in Figma, which are always really tricky to find. And uh, finally, we are we'll be talking about uh, about 60 new device channel related icons um, in our icon library for both Figma and just for general use. And uh, lastly, we'll talk a little bit out about our future plan, which is very interesting. Stay tuned. So first, our 20 recap. So we didn't do a release meeting like this. Uh, last time. So just a brief review of what happened. Uh, we added uh, for every single components uh, in the component sticker sheet, we added this uh, new property called dark theme variant. Uh, so if, uh, if you right now you are using component sticker sheet and uh, you look on your right hand side panel, uh, where all the variants are, you will see that all of them now has this uh, uh, dark theme uh, option at the very bottom that you can just, uh, you know, uh, build the default uh, components in dark theme. And uh, we also released, uh, alongside with this, we also released uh, this uh, new plugin, Figma plugin called Variant Switcher. Um, it really helps you if you want, you already build a, um, everything in light theme in a default theme and that you feel like switching everything into dark theme this will be really helpful and uh, for those of you who try to embed icons in uh, email we also uh, improved our documentation site pxl.github.io uh, which enables you to now download svgs and pngs of the size and colors of your choice Okay, that's for R20. And for R21, uh, we built a couple of uh, new system components uh, inside Figma. So what I mean by system components is uh, the kind of native operating system components that you will use for uh, your prototyping. Um, and uh, similar to before, um, all the components are built in both light and dark theme. So whether you are designing for web application, 
we now have an improved size of um, all kinds of browser bars so that you can show the changes in routes or little changes in um, like opening a new tab, for example. Um, you can also use, use these uh, Safari uh, browser, browser bars, uh, which can be helpful if you are uh, doing things on tablets. We also have uh, the iOS Safari browser bar um, for if you want to do prototyping on mobile or tablet. And uh, we have cursors. Um, these are very, very helpful. Um, if you want to do prototyping to, you want to do some crazy little micro interactions with your developer friends and you want to just uh, uh, show them uh, exactly what would happen when something is hovering or um, I don't know, drag, uh, on click, on hover, et cetera. And uh, we have a status bar, which is uh, a little component that's often missed out while, while prototyping, but uh, still part of an integrated experience. Uh, we have keyboards, uh, unfortunately only in iOS, sorry for the Android people. Um, we now have keyboards for uh, both uh, tablets, the iPad and for iPhone, uh, the keyboard and keypad. Uh, we now have time pickers for both um, on the Android side and the iOS side. So just a reminder that the Android uh, time picker is um, the time picker that's still in their beta guideline, but definitely recommended by material design. However, um, as far as I know, this will create a huge developer headache if your developer were in uh, React, uh, I think, any frameworks, uh, React has it on uh, beta, but uh, Angular or React Native, they are uh, all struggling a little bit with it. Um, so depends um, on how willing your, your developers is to implement something like this. We recommend you to stay with whichever the default time picker is, which for iOS, it means something that like, looks like this. And uh, a little bit of the system dialogues, um, just so that you can prototype every single steps. If you have things like um, a push notification, uh, you just get a new email to um, authenticate your newly registered account, I don't know. Or you want um, facial, you want to have face ID or touch ID in your application, you can use these. Um, also, uh, these are mostly for iOS. Uh, so if you are prototyping for Android side, uh, go for the default material design um, dialog box, which is still available inside the PXLU. Just search for dialog box and you will see them. And we also have screens, which is uh, essentially everything put together. And uh, we suggest you to always think about this uh, status bar or this uh, um, this little dark area here, um, because we often see that to develop or some teams forget to uh, account for this part. And uh, later on in their prototyping stage, they got um, a, li a little bit offset here. So just uh, keep in mind when you're designing for a mobile application, always um, include uh, this uh, status bar here. And uh, also um, if you want to showcase your latest design uh, to the like to the public, now just so inside Eaton, uh, Apple's guideline says uh, you should always show it in the latest model. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, include your design in this uh, latest non-rectangular screens. So you might ask, wait, what about series? What about home screens? Um, so we do not currently maintain every single thing in this universe. So, but there is a great place for that. Um, so Figma, if you don't know this yet, Figma has this uh, little Figma community that uh, you can feel free to 
uh, go explore for more uh, files like these. They have plugins, they have um, different prototyping things, just similar to what we announced. They have um, new icons or even new design systems or new everything. Um, yeah, just uh, if you need to get inspired aside from Drupal, aside from um, this is a Google image search. You can look around on Figma community file. Uh, the PX2 component sticker sheet is also published there as part of our open source uh, effort. All right, next one is uh, to search for icons in Figma. Uh, so just a little bit of interaction here. Uh, let's have, take five seconds and guess what is this icon called? No cheating. And uh, time's up, and it turns out that this thing is called public, uh, which makes sense because you have a globe and then you have internet, and which is internation, all that sort of thing. So in this past quarter, we've uh, um, made an update to Figma that uh, addressed this exact issue. Let me, I can do a real quick demo for it. So right now um, you can, uh, so it used to be that you can only search icon by their exact name and uh, it will be really difficult if you have a particular shape in your mind, you know, but uh, uh, you don't know exactly what it's called. So things like uh, that globe thing, but earth thing, but it's, public, it's called public, it will be really hard to search. So, but right now, if you go search for globe, uh, you'll see these things that has a earth uh, presence in the icon design will show up, even if they're called public or language, they'll still be, still be there. Or the crazy things I've noticed is that even if you search for just a plus sign, um, there'll be some other components on the top, but now everything with a plus, like this icon called add circle will also show up. So um, a little tip how this happened is uh, when you are doing an icon, uh, you can put in or any components, let's say that you have, whoops, let's say that you want to have a plain square as your components. So this rectangle six is now my component. You can add description here. So if I want to call it a uh, circle, I don't know. And now this is a component called rectangle six with a description called circle. So now if I search for circle and my rectangle six would also show up. That's it, it, essentially what happened is uh, we added description to every single icons uh, inside Figma, which is essentially the small components. So next time you are prototyping, um, feel free to make use of this. Uh, if you want to build a library of your own, this will help you search very conveniently. And yes, this uh, little function is added to both material design icons and all the PX blue icons. So finally, we have nearly 60 new icons. Uh, after a lot of uh, back and forth with uh, both engineers and uh, strictly graphic designers and with uh, many, the, the help and support from uh, many different uh, Eaton teams uh, inside and outside Eaton, such as Brother Industrial, uh, Green Motion, Centac will be where. And uh, all of you guys who participate in our weekly design reviews, uh, we now have many new icons and uh, most of them are very um, on the industrial side, let's say. Uh, so now we have new devices like these. I'll take a few seconds for you guys to look. And uh, we have channel and uh, status icons. Don't ask me what all these means. Um, all of these are now currently available through uh, Figma and our uh, 
documentation website and also published to be part of the developer package. So finally, a little bit of a future plan on our side. Uh, if you haven't heard about this yet, we are um, in an effort to get renamed into uh, Bright Layer user interface as part of Eaton's digitization effort. Everything is now under the uh, hood of Bright Layer. So we are going to be renamed into from Power Expert Blue to this new thing called Bright Layer user interface, uh, or sometimes also called Bright Layer UI or Bright Layer or just a bluey for short, like these. Um, so as for how exactly this would impact you, uh, as designers, for the most part, you would not notice any changes. Uh, you might notice that our uh, website changed from pxlu.github.io to something like a bright layer ui-ui.github.io. Uh, you might notice that certain Figma resources get renamed re or, or redirected, and they are no longer listed under the name PXLU. Um, but for the most part, uh, we have the same sets of icons. We we'll have the same uh, design guidelines. Uh, most parts, the the blue will stay the same. Uh, so nothing much will be changed. Um, and the details about these specific changes will be more available in the coming weeks as so we figure out how we want to migrate exactly. And uh, we are also currently working to on the design pattern side. Uh, if you don't know what this is, uh, we did some user interviews and we heard you guys uh, talking about how do I know if I am pushing my design too far. Uh, am I just doing too strict on these crazy micro interactions or um, is it, are there any tru truly any kind of technical limitations behind it, everything? Um, or I can actually make them to do those little subtle things. So um, we implemented a lot of uh, these micro interactions. Um, and that they are all available on our documentation website. So sometimes when you are looking through our design guidelines, you might notice some small cards like this. Um, we'll be uh, adding in, um, if, if you make your, if you or your developer friends click into any of these uh, chip buttons, they'll be taken into a um, online IDE thing where they have the code piece uh, ready to be, you know, just borrowed from PXBlue. And uh, the uh, the uh, generated um, implementation on the right. So this is a, when you know um, if you are pushing your design too far is every single design we show you on PXLU or I don't know, in all our presentations, they are viable. They're technology, technically feasible. So um, these are the code pieces. These, these will be the uh, repository that's uh, shared with uh, all our developers. So uh, we are still working on this, but uh, uh, in probably next year, uh, you'll see a complete library of every single design pattern that we talk about on our documentation site, you will see um, a implementation of it. And, uh, uh, and uh, finally, a little um, feature from Figma in the past quarter is uh, they now have this uh, branching uh, function enabled for uh, anyone under Eaton plan, I believe, or maybe anybody. Um, so if you have worked, if you have been a developer before and you worked with a version management system like Git, um, or in Eaton's case, Bitbucket, uh, which is also based on Git, um, you will know what branching means. 
and essentially you just uh, create an ident identical copy of the uh, main file and uh, you make your own changes and then when you're ready to uh, be merged into main, uh, you ask for people to review and then people come to review your stuff and then you merge your new designs or your new code uh, put together. So this will be a great uh, mechanism. Uh, if you would like to suggest to us new features, uh, instead of, uh, uh, or sorry, in addition to ping me um, across Figma or on Teams or email, you can you guys can also just uh, go in, uh, go to the team called Figma team called Eaton Design System, and you'll see this uh, file called Component Sticker Sheet. Uh, inside it, you'll see this uh, PX2 Component Sticker Sheet that you can, and this a little. Um, button called sets saying main. You can go inside and click create a new branch and then you'll be able to, you know, just experiment around it. And uh, when you feel like you're ready, uh, just uh, let us know, tag one of us and uh, we can review it. And uh, if we think your components are great, we'll be inner sourcing it back to PXLU and, uh, or Bluey and uh, make available to everyone across the entire Eaton. So just a, as a summary, uh, in today we released the system new system components for you to the prototype. We uh, improved our icon search mechanism in Figma, and we also added around sixty new icons into our icons repository. So now open to questions. Any questions, or just uh, you can type in the chat or. Um, message me, email me.